Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop unboxing for you. And this time we're gonna be taking a look at the new line for Thor Love and Thunder. I was finally able to get in almost the entire set of Funko Pops. Took a while. Some of these were a little bit delayed, but I finally got my hands on all of them that I wanted to grab. I mean, outside of just one, but I still wanted to go ahead and show them off to you guys it's been a little bit since the movie has come out and we are very close to a couple weeks away from the movie releasing on Disney Plus. And overall I did really enjoy the Thor Love and Thunder movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Definitely hilarious. Not my favorite MCU installment thus far. Definitely not even my favorite Thor movie. I would put Thor Ragnarok above it. However I think there's a lot of really great things in here. And I think there's enough heart in the movie where you can still kind of take it a little bit seriously. But yes, it is pretty silly, but still, it was a fun ride. And I do go more into my thoughts of Thor Love and Thunder when I did my video right when the movie came out. I showed off the new AMC Thor Love and Thunder Milnor popcorn bucket. That was really awesome. So if you want to see more of my thoughts there and check out that popcorn bucket, go back and check out that video. But for today, we're going to go ahead and check out the Funko Pop. So we end up having six from the line. There are more that are going to be coming out. I know there are a couple exclusives that will be coming soon along with the Marvel Collector Cores box from Amazon. So when we get the Marvel Collector Cores box in, we'll definitely be able to show that one off as well. But we have six great pops to take a look at in person today. Now before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. You can also leave a like on this video as well. It does make a massive difference. And if you want to make sure to never miss a video, you can always hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we have a video drop. So the first pop that we'll take a look at today is, of course, the man, the god of thunder himself, Thor. And I really love the new costume for Thor and Thor Love and Thunder. It looks absolutely amazing, especially when he's able to kind of summon it. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I want to take a second to just take a look at this box here for Thor Love and Thunder. I love the design of the box there on the side and then on the back where you see the rest of the characters. I really think that's great color, great design, really playing into the logo there. So that is fantastic. But the pop itself has tons of great detail. I love how he has the beard now. Definitely grown a lot since we saw him in Avengers Endgame a few years ago. But you now have that new updated suit and when I first saw the suit in the glam shots before the movie came out I thought it looked sick and it definitely does look sick in the pop in person as well I like the blue and the gold it really does look great and then he has Stormbreaker in his right hand he even has the lightning coming out around Stormbreaker I wish they had a glow-in-the-dark version of Thor maybe with his eyes glowing and then Stormbreaker glowing up as well but they have not made that at this point he has his cape on and the cape kind of blowing in the wind. And he is actually jumping where he's on that standing base where he's jumping in the air. That looks really great. I think this pop is awesome. And now the next pop we have from this line is the Mighty Thor, Jane Foster's The Mighty Thor. She was great in this film. It was great being able to see Natalie Portman back. I am a big fan of Natalie Portman as an actor. Uh, and although you know Jane Foster wasn't the best written character in the first couple of Thor movies, she was still enjoyable to watch in there and kind of see the chemistry between her and Thor. So now being able to have that back and have that little bit of tension to it, add another level, uh, another layer rather to the movie. So I really did enjoy that. And I thought she was badass as Mighty Thor. The way that she used Milnor and everything was fantastic. And she does have Milnor here in the pop as well and it does look great she's kind of in a power stance maybe kind of channeling a little bit of that Thor energy and she has that Milnor and she has Milnor in her right hand you see that is reforged and everything so you see the blue lines and all so that looks great her hair looks great falling out under her helmet and that helmet is that classic Thor looking helmet definitely looks like Lady Thor or Mighty Thor in the comics and her cape flown behind her as well. I think this is a great looking figure. And now there were some exclusives that were released for Thor Love and Thunder. There were actually a few different exclusives for Mighty Thor. 
There is one that went over two books a million. I believe that one might be metallic or something like that. I did not pick that one up, but the one that I did end up picking up is the Bop in a Box exclusive Glow in the Dark Mighty Thor. And honestly, this is definitely my favorite pop from the entire line. Just the detail and the action pose in this pop I think was really great. I did the show this off in another video, but I wanted to go ahead and show it off again for you as well. Because I think this pop is definitely the best one. And so this one, she's more of an action pose where she's jumping in the air. She's using those, that power of the god, power of Thor. So you have the lightning coming up under her, which that part glows. She still has Milner in her right hand and that has some lightning around it too. You even have the cape kind of lifting up a little bit as she's starting to jump. And the one thing that I really like about the Mighty Thor outfit is that her armor that's on her chest is actually reminiscent of Thor's older armor. So it's a little bit of a different look. It's a little bit more updated, but it still gives you that reminder. But she definitely looks great in this action pose. And then to give you that look at the glow in the dark, it looks fantastic. I love that bright glow both underneath with the lightning along with around Milnor as well and lighting up just slightly is Milnor too. I think this one just looks so cool. And one of the things that everyone was definitely looking forward to seeing in Thor Love and Thunder was the return to the comic book genre for Christian Bale as we learned he was going to be playing at Gore the God Butcher who is a serious character and a huge villain in the comics and we were all thinking how bad is he going to be and although he didn't quite live up to a lot of expectations I thought he was still a really interesting villain and his pop definitely looks interesting as well. The pop doesn't offer too much action that he's doing. He's kind of standing there, but there's a lot of detail in this pop that kind of informs you a little bit more about the character and it makes sense, especially after seeing the movie. And the pop definitely makes Gore look really scary. Just that gray, pale skin all over really looks like he's kind of rotting a little bit. The way he kind of has those laceration things all over his head is really, really creepy. And his eyes even has some black around his eyes as well. And then he's holding the Necro Sword there in his hand. And it looks like that black kind of good that he kind of gets from the Necro Sword, which is kind of coming around him too, lifting him up, starting to swirl. So that really shows you a little bit more about the character and the power that he has. But he definitely is a creepy looking character. And during the journey and the adventure on Thor at Love and Thunder, Thor and Jane needed some friends, right? So they did have a friend go along with them, and that is Korg. Korg returning from Thor Ragnarok, who he was absolutely hilarious in that movie, played by Taika Waititi. He is back, and he's hilarious in here again, plays a little bit of a different role in this film, a little bit more of that comic relief, but he's still a great character, and who doesn't love Taika Waititi voicing this big rock man? He is fantastic. And the pop is fun. Definitely a great little update to the previous Korg pop they made for Thor Ragnarok. I believe that there was the convention exclusive one from San Diego Comic Con a few years ago. But this one definitely a little bit more detail in the rock work, especially with his face. We can see where he has his mouth and his nose, his eyes and everything. That looks great. And his armor looks pretty cool. I love his different colored pants that he has on. And that belt buckle, that ram's head belt buckle, definitely looks really sick as well. And he's even holding that weapon in his right hand too. And the last pop that we have for today is Korg's sidekick, Meek. Of course, Korg and Meek always together on Sakaar in Thor Ragnarok. And they came together to new Asgard in this new film. And Meek was definitely funny. He didn't really play a too much of a part in this movie really only saw Meek more towards the beginning and then I think maybe showed up at the end as well so didn't play a huge role at all but still pretty fun character to see so Meek is actually wearing more of like an office attire because now Meek actually works for new Asgard so it's actually funny now that a little alien bug creature with knives for hands is now playing you know a part in politics i think that's pretty funny and this is actually a really funny part in the movie that i think kind of shows in the trailer of meek uh taking their knife across like a chalkboard and everything and this pop definitely looks really fun with like the metal legs and everything but nothing too crazy going on here 
Now I know what you guys might be thinking, this is not the full set of pops, there was still more that came out. And of course there was one that was on the back up here that we do not have, which is Valkyrie. And I really did enjoy Valkyrie in the movie, Tessa Thompson is always great. But what happened is that I actually did order Valkyrie twice, both times. They got cancelled on me. I don't know why, they said they couldn't fulfill them, it got cancelled from a box lunch and hot topic. So I decided, you know what, I don't want to wait any longer. I want to go ahead and just do the video with the pops that I have. So unfortunately, I don't have Valkyrie, but it definitely does look like a great looking pop. And now there are going to be some other figures coming up from Thor Love and Thunder. I did mention the Books A Million exclusive Mighty Thor that might be hitting stores soon. We also have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Thor Ravenger. So that's him more in the beginning of the movie when he's going around with the guardians of the galaxy that one looks really fun in that outfit and then there's also going to be a specialty series exclusive gore where it's just him more with the kind of those sharp teeth he's a little bit more menacing in that way i do prefer this pop right here just because there's a little bit more detail on it but that one's still pretty cool i suppose and then finally there is going to be the marvel collector course box coming very soon Hopefully it will come sometime around the release of Thor Love and Thunder on Disney Plus so that way we can kind of watch it again, see the new pops, and talk about it all together as well. But I would not be surprised if they announce any more Thor Love and Thunder pops because the movie is pretty big. It's made like $750 million or close to that at the box office. It's going to be bigger again once it goes on Disney Plus. So people are going to keep talking about this movie at least until maybe She-Hulk hits its pinnacle at the end. And then we get to some of the other Marvel Disney Plus shows and the next Marvel movies that will come out. But now I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think about these Thor Love and Thunder Funko Pops? Which one of these is your favorite? Have you picked up any pops from Thor Love and Thunder? Let me know what you guys think about these and what you thought about the movie in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on the video. And hit that bell to make sure you never miss another video. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.